Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India session we have talked about that is the uh, how we have the uh, having the different uh, to virtual teams and in virtual teams uh, um, uh, what should be the leadership is there. Now, today we will talk about the managing the multicultural teams uh, and in the multicultural teams uh, we will talk advantages of multicultural teams, uh, challenges of multicultural teams, four strategies to overcome challenges um, with the help of the HBI study and uh, multicultural managers and organizations, multicultural organization development model and as usual the case study research papers and the book recommendations with the references. Now, whenever we talk about the multicultural team, the central operating mode for a global enterprise, uh, right. So, it is the uh, creation, organization, management of the multicultural teams uh, that is a group that represents diversity. Diversity in functional capability is there, right, and uh, experience level and the cultural backgrounds are there. So, therefore, in that case, it will be always depending upon that is the, uh, they, the uh, they are not coming from the uh, same culture while they are coming from the different culture. The team members are coming from the different cultures are there and therefore, their capability is uh, uh, different, uh, their experiences are different, they are coming from the different zone also, maybe from the uh, Asia, USA, right uh, or the Europe, uh, uh, UK. Hmm. So, therefore, in that case, they will be having the their experience will be also from the uh, different zones uh, part of the globe and as a result of which there will be the different uh, cultural backgrounds will be there, right. Now, now these uh, multicultural groups represent three or more ethnic backgrounds are there that is a diversity may increase uh, uncertainty, complexity and inherent confusion uh, in group processes, right. So, therefore, it, it is always uh, because uh, uh, the culture is different, right. So, na naturally there will be the uncertainty and uh, the communication the food habits that will be also different. So, there will be the complexity will be there and uh, uh, naturally there will be uh, the as a human being that, that is the getting the mixing with the another culture, right. So, that confusion will be always there in the group processes. So, culturally diverse groups may generate more and better ideas and limit group think is there. But um, then why we are having this multicultural team? So, therefore, on the one side we are having this uh, uh, the uncertainty and complexity in the multicultural team while the other side we will having this uh, whenever the teams are there they are having the better ideas because uh, as we have seen they are coming from the uh, different uh, geographical zone, different cultures. So, as a result of which there will be the uh, of course, uh, uh, the ideas will be also different and uh, then those uh, different ideas that that will give the the strength right strength to 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 the team so different culture backgrounds and the perspectives can inspire innovation and productivity so um, new uh, as i mentioned it is there will be different ideas so naturally there will be the innovation and productivity will be also there will be the different perspective so uh, how to um, make the uh, manufacturing process uh, in a better way uh, how to make the use of the machines how how to handle the people and the men behind the machine so therefore employees so therefore in that case uh, it will be always uh, uh, this type of these uh, ideas will come and the innovations and productivity will be increasing is there. So, every individual of the team that is uh, differ from the experiences and mindsets, right. So, and the variety of services and products. Uh, thinking quickly, uh, so um, uh, knowing the rules is a perfect way to become the more agile inside groups, especially in multicultural teams, where as soon as the members will start feeling comfortable, uh, the better they will become more productive. So, uh, now here it, it is the responsibility of the leader 
to make them the more comfortable as, as soon as possible. So, whenever it is the cross cultural team, multicultural team or it is uh, from the uh, homogeneous cultural team is there, what is the responsibility of the leader to make them the more comfortable and as soon as he will make the comfortable to the team members, the team will be performing very effectively. Improve of creativity is there and individualistically exposed to the people from let us say uh, Asia, right. So, therefore, uh, in that case definitely they will be having the qu quickly they will be having this uh, the exposure to the new culture and there will be the different uh, uh, enhancement of this uh, creativity and ideas as I mentioned earlier it will be there. The improve of the problem solving skills will be there. So, international group bring their own life and experiences inside the team. So, when a solution is needed they can come up with ideas uh, that would have never crossed the mind of a group with a single culture mindset and that is the beauty. Right. So, there and, uh, uh, though we say that is the two brains are better than uh, one, but if the two brains are uh, uh, the, they are uh, from the different culture. So, then they will be better than two right. So, therefore, in that case uh, it will be the cultural mindset uh, will be there. Moreover, teammates are exposed to different point of view and they can easily know to think outside the box is there and that way these uh, problem solving skills that will be increasing and uh, their communication skill will also improve and they have uh, improved in the sense uh, in the cross cultural uh, multicultural teams communication will improve and they, they, so as a result of which their soft skills will be also increasing. Personal growth and flexibility is the being a part of an international team is like attending an exchange program. So, every working day right. So, therefore, in that case it is also an exposure to the different uh, the culture, different uh, nations, uh, uh, the uh, whatever is uh, uh, their uh, uh, strength is there, those strengths are getting the exposures there. Indeed, while working in a multicultural team and uh, the members are exposed to new culture and this can easily have an impact on their personalities and their mindset is concerned. So, whenever uh, you are working with the uh, people from the different uh, nation right. So, therefore, uh, your behavior and your mindset that will also will change uh, right and will get exposed uh, to the different uh, ideas. But the challenges is this there is a communication problem, trouble with the fluency and assent. When non native speakers struggle to find the right words, the team might not take their point of view seriously. So, even when they probably should, members who are not fluent in the team's dominant language uh, may have difficulty communicating their knowledge, right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, it is uh, the uh, definitely they have these uh, the way they, they communicate, right. Uh, so, they may not be uh, they may not be fluent, right. So, many times they may not be having their uh, understanding which is required among the team members. So, there will be the difficulty in uh, communicating also. As this can also prevent the team using their expertise, right, because they are not able to communicate. So, they may remain silent. And if they remain silent, then in that case they will not be uh, able to uh, express their expertise and uh, as a result of which what will happen and that is that will create a frustration or perceptions of incompetence. So, direct and indirect communication is there. So, western cultures tend to speak directly while in many other cultures it is considered more polite to be indirect. So, when members uh, see such mismatch as violations of communication norms of their cultures right. So, therefore, it is the uh, it is considered right. So, western cultures in many other culture is, different, is considered the more uh, uh, polite uh, uh, to speak directly while in many culture it is considered more polite to be indirect right. So, therefore, this type of the direct uh, communication uh, the way of uh, communicating directly right like western cultures and in other culture it is to be spoken to be indirectly. So, th this will also create a, a communication problem among the team members is there right and therefore, in the beginning there, there might be the, uh, the uncomfortable uh, situation amongst the team members. The work culture differs across the globe and with it also the attitudes towards the authority is there. So, indeed some cultures are okay with flat organizational structures while others are used to a formal hierarchy. So, behavior that is perceived as respectful in one culture may not be seen that way in the other. This is a very big problem. 
So therefore, when it is uh, perceived that it is the inward uh, behavior, the particular behavior in the one culture which is supposed to be the respectful, in, in other culture it may not be the that uh, uh, perception and as a result of which uh, uh, team members from hierarchical cultures uh, expect to be treated differently according to their status in the corporation, right. So, this is a, a very simple example like the calling by the first name. Right. So, team members from hierarchical cultures uh, that they, they, they want to be called by the sir, right. But in the other uh, culture it might be by the first name, right. So, the person may not be comfortable. Another issue related to the work culture is being less likely to speak up and this could be challenging for individuals from polite or differential cultures uh, like uh, for Asian people. So, therefore, in that case uh, it is this that is the polite or uh, differential cultures uh, uh, in the Asia right that, that this may just feel a less comfortable to make uh, their voices to be heard or to be shared their ideas because the because of their polite in nature and therefore they may not be having that particular uh, uh, expressions of the uh, in the meetings and therefore in that case it might be possible that is their their, their voice uh, their ideas uh, if they are new in the team or in the junior role uh, then uh, it it may be less comfortable for them right so on the other hand members from the western or the scandinavian countries right those who are speaking directly and therefore, in that case uh, that will that will be becoming the very very uh, important uh, for them to communicate uh, dire uh, directly. So, free flow of communication may be there. So, decision making conflicts also there. So, what, uh, um, so one side uh, there is uh, this uh, um, and the communication uh, challenges, other side is the decision making conflicts. Working in a multicultural team means also facing differences in how decisions are made in how much analysis is required by teammates beforehand is there. So, conflicts arise when some of them make decisions quickly versus slowly, right. So, uh, so or analytically versus instinctive in, uh, instinctively. So, therefore, in that case uh, that is the decisions we, which are based on the rational, logical, analytical, right and somebody uh, is taking the uh, decisions on the basis of their in, uh, intuitions. So, therefore, uh, and uh, immediately then, then, then definitely in that case uh, the, this may be creating the frustration among the others. So, negative culture stereotypes and the prejudices may be there. The interactions of people from different country unavoidably arise unconscious culture biasness and stereotypes are there. Those can be quite difficult to ever, uh, overcome particularly if they make part of the team less inclined to work together. Negative culture stereotypes can be seriously disruptive to company moral and can also affect the productivity is there. And therefore, in that case uh, uh, it is the uh, whenever there is this type of the negative culture is there, so then this, there will be disruption. So, this disruptive behavior to the company that will also affect the productivity. Right and the culture in the that team also and culture in the organization also. So uh, that will be having the uh, the prejudices and biases and the negative negative impact will be there. So here company has to take care of uh, uh, their the strategies for addressing the challenges. So what are those uh, strategies? The four main strategies for addressing the challenges are uh, uh, is adaptation, which acknowledge the culture gaps and finds ways to work around them. So, as I mentioned in the beginning that they because they are coming from the different cultures, so naturally there will be the uh, different communication styles will be there, their different uh, habits will be there, uh, their, their diff uh, different uh, uh, the issues will be there. So, then, then in that case uh, naturally we have to accept that, that yes there will be the diver whenever there is a diver diversity there will be challenges, right. So, we have to adopt that. That is yes, this is the situation because unless and until we will not accept that, how it will work. So, this works well, but requires creativity, self awareness, and time is there, right. So, once you adopt it, then definitely you require certain that creativity and self awareness of uh, and a certain time is required. The cultural in, uh, interventions is required uh, to reduce uh, friction or to compel team members to get to know each other better. 
Then there is a managerial intervention. Managers can set rules and step in when there is a need for someone with authority is there. So, managerial intervention will be there. Um, as a last resort that Harvard study suggests is the exit option. So, completely removing someone from the team, this is costly in the most extreme way to salvage a solution situation is there. So, but this, the, this particular fourth strategy uh, that, that, is, uh, that is not the suggested one unless and until it is must. Right. So, adaptation, cultural interventions, managerial interventions and the exit option and these four strategies when we, we are adopting. So, then managers will be able to make the uh, lead the team and uh, therefore, the, there can be the effectiveness of the team and work will be there. Uh, now, the core problems are uh, it, it is no centrism in the face of uh, right uh, and then the cultural diversity experienced as cultural shock. So, which varies with experience and maybe le uh, lesser or greater in impact, right? And normally it, it, it is the greater impact. Um, core solutions are these uh, adaptation, adjustment, and development of intercultural skills, right? So, whenever there is a cultural shock is there, that is the first reaction to the cultural shock will be there. That is, oh, so, so much cultural difference is there. And that, but what is required? The adjustment is a more permanent and positive reaction is that is the uh, whenever such type of teams are there, the rest of the team members they should make the adjustments and development of intercultural skills are there. Uh, many times it is also seen when, when they, there is a productive team. So, productive team what it does uh, uh, that is they learn the culture of each other, they learn the communication skills of each other. They learn the way that they, they are direct or indirect way to express the opinion ideas uh, in, uh, in the team the, the, that, that is also the, they are learning. So, therefore, the cross cultural managers uh, many times uh, and they, they, they come out with the more ideas, more productivity, more uh, effectiveness and uh, as a result of which uh, uh, these uh, uh, you know, what is leader is required leader is required to develop that intercultural skills. If he is able to develop that intercultural skills uh, and already there is an adjustment is there, right. So, this cultural shock will be less uh, and that is why many companies uh, they are starting with the orientation programs and in the orientation programs uh, they work on that particular uh, uh, this uh, schedule that is the, the people uh, they, they enjoy they enjoy that diversity and then, then as our Indian culture is there that is the unity in diversity. So, the team is developing that unity in diversity on the basis of uh, uh, this intercultural uh, interactions and uh, therefore, the cultural shock will be less and uh, there might be, uh, but the time period the time period for this cultural shock will be less and the team will be uh, very soon uh, 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 working into the uh, direction of the goals. The multicultural managers in the organizations are there. The uh, multicultural manager has the skills and attitude to relate effectively to the motivate people. Now, now this is the skill is required, right. So, first uh, once uh, the person is uh, having that particular understanding that is the yes, there will be the different cultural people. So, then, then he should be skillful and his attitude is to, to, uh, to motivate the people across the uh, race, gender, age, social attitude and lifestyles. For example, even the so gender is there, right. So, therefore, in that case, it, in that uh, the, the leader, effective leader that he will be able to work on this the different diversity. He respects and values the cultural differences manager and has the ability bilingual to conduct business in a diverse international environment. He has a cultural sensitivity in being aware and interested in why people of other culture acts they do. It is not uh, uh, parochial in assuming that the ways of one's culture are the only ways things should be done and as a result of which uh, not ethocentric in assuming that the superiority of one's culture over that of another culture. So, therefore, in that case uh, there, there is no such complexity is there, no, no complex to that particular person that is that is the, the manager will think that is the my culture is better than others culture. It is not like this everybody's culture has been respected, right. Similarly, the cultures over that of another culture, there is nothing like a uh, so, superiority is there, right. And therefore, in that case, uh, everybody is equal. And when the everybody's culture is equal, everybody's culture is honored, then definitely you can uh, assume that what will be the environment.
The multicultural organization development is a process of change, right? And that supports an organization uh, moving from a monoculture or exclusive organization to a multicultural uh, is there, right? So, therefore, this multicultural organization development, right? So, uh, in many organizations nowadays it is common that we find it is the employees are coming from the different countries, different culture. So, uh, therefore, from a monoculture it is going to be the organization to a multiculture. So, what is required? The inclusivity is required and the understanding of the diverse and equitable that, that is uh, has to be understood. That is there will be the diverse culture, right, but we have to create the equitability in the organization. And the approach requires an initial assessment of where the organization is committed to a vision it wants to be in the future. So, uh, they, and they, they will be the exclusive, uh, exclusionary organization, the club, the compliance organization, the affirming organizations, the redefining organization stage and the multicultural inclusive organizations will be there. So, whenever we, we want to develop a multicultural organization development, we, we have to implement these all six stages. Right, and whenever you right from these the uh, the your exclusively uh, organization to the inclusive the organization, right. So therefore, right from the cultural shock, that that right from that cultural shock to the becoming the effective team. So unless and until you do not treat uh, your uh, uh, the team members respectfully. If you do not make them the comfortable, you do not make them then to understand uh, to each other, then that, that team cannot be developed. So, multicultural organization development model, Jackson uh, Hardiman is given this uh, uh, the multicultural organization development continuum, a monoculture, non discrimination, and the multiculture. This transformation will be there from the monoculture to the multiculture. So, therefore, in the, the blatant exclusion or the token presence of managerialized group members is there. So, therefore, in that case, it will start with the exclusionary. So, and uh, with uh, in this particular stage, you what you have to do in that is the club. So, you have to club them, you have to in, uh, making them to work together and the marginalized group members encourage but expected to fit in status quo culture, compliance and affirming. So, therefore, those uh, employees are there, uh, team members are there. So, then those who are the marginalized group members, right? And the cultural climate and system experience fundamental sustainable change is there. So, that is the redefining the multicultural and inclusive is there. So, always we talk about that is the whenever we are talking about the change. Hmm? So, that, that, that is from the unfreezing and mm, to taking to the refreezing. So, it becomes very important that is the you, you also take the care of the jet change process. And here I would like to mention that is this compliance and affirming. The leader's effectiveness will depend on this because the most of the members you see that is uh, some of them will be the totally into the monoculture. Some of them, those who are ready for the very much ready for the multicultural, but some of them, they will be in the margin, right. So, these marginalized groups with the compliance and affirming, uh, these, these steps are to be taken by the leader. Leader has to understand, he has to bring the team at a particular competitive level and to bring the team at the particular competitive level, it becomes very, very important that is the you, you are having the compliances is there because the club is already there, the group has formed, but when you are taking into the multicultural inclusive level, then in that case uh, you have to take care of uh, those employees, those who are having at the marginal level. So, multicultural organization development model based on earlier work by the Jackson and Holbier provides a useful way and there is a frame and initial assessment of where it, uh, it is on the path to multiculturalism. So, you are leading that particular group towards the multiculturalism is there and then you decide on a vision of multiculturalism it wants. So, what the multicultural uh, that is the goal which he, it wants to achieve and they select the appropriate goals and interventions. So, here I would also like to take the help of the OD organization development is there. So, structural interventions, team interventions. So, these interventions, appropriate interventions are to be used to support to desired vision, right. And the, the exclusionary organizations uh, that is the, uh, it will not work. So, they openly maintains the privileged groups, power and privilege and deliberately restricts membership. 
So, that is the exclusionary is there. So, uh, is, so that is why many times uh, those uh, who are having these uh, uh, exclusionary organization uh, system, so they, they, they restrict the membership, they do not allow to even recruit recruit the member uh, employees from the different culture. Intentionally designed to maintain do dominance of one group over others, right? And therefore, in that case, uh, in, in the, there will be the groupism and the one group will not allow the other group to enter. So, over discriminatory, exclusionary and harassing actions go, um, go unaddressed, right? So, therefore, in that case, the practices in the team that will be very negative and unsafe and dangerous environment for marginalized group members will be there. Because those uh, who are coming from that uh, uh, the group uh, from the different culture right and there may be chances that is they may feel the unsafe and dangerous. So, what is required? So, therefore, the, the club our way to the highway right. So, when it is not the my way is highway right it is in from no way to the our way or the highway is there. So, here it maintains the privilege of those who have traditionally held power and influence and monocultural norms, policies and procedures of the dominant culture viewed as the only right way business as usual, right. So, therefore, in that case it is not the question your way or my way, it is the right way. So, dominant culture institutionalized in policies, procedures, services, etcetera, right. So, here it, it, it is very, very much important. That is the um, we have to be very careful in uh, understanding and framing policies, procedures and services. Limited number of token members from other social identity groups allowed in if they have the right credentials, attitude and behavior and therefore, those uh, who are able to mix up right. So, they have been, they have been allowed. So, engages issue of diversity and social justice only on club members terms and within their comfort zone is there right. So, here you see those who can be the comfortable. Uh, here it is very important point has been mentioned that is about the diversity and social justice is there right. So, this will be only possible when there are the club members are there and in the club members are there. So, then you can create the comfort zone. So, here it is it is that is the a collective actions will be taken and on the basis of these collective actions the decisions will be taken for the uh, for in this particular uh, our way or the highway is concerned. So, in the stage 2 what if what from the we are moving up we are moving from the no way that is from the exclusion to the our way is there. So, the, uh, here the uh, uh, now uh, what is the leadership role of leadership here is the role of leadership is the right uh, right credentials to identify the right credentials that who will be the uh, right person to be incorporated into team. The third is the compliance organization the letter of the law the committed to removing some of the discrimination inherent in the club organization right. So, therefore, in that case this is to be taken care of. So, this removal of the discrimination inherent in the club organization right that will be the that should be there and they provide some access to some members of previously excluded groups right. So, it is those who have been excluded earlier they they should be given certain access also. So, therefore, no change in organization culture mission or structure is there. So, ultimately it is the organization culture that 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 has to be there right and uh, um, that, that should not be changed and do not make waves or often the challenges dominant group members are there. So, therefore, in that case what is should be our focus. So, our focus is to be that is the whenever we are talking about uh, uh, these uh, challenges there or offend is there right. So, then there, there should not be this uh, offend uh, and challenge by the dominant group members should not be there, they, they should not do that. Efforts to change profile of workforce hmm, uh, at bottom of organization. So, therefore, then, uh, for every team members for every culture there are certain essentials. And then essentials uh, uh, are that, that, that has to be made. So, efforts are to be made to change the profile if somebody is not having. And token placements in stop positions must be team players and qualified, must assimilate into organization culture, must not challenge the system or rock the boat, must not raise issues of racism, classism, albism, uh, uh, then the heterosexism, religious uh, 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 operations and the ageism. So, therefore, whatever the reasons are there uh, which are making the, uh, the uh, uh, suppress the group or team, they, that those all issues that they should not be allowed to raise.
the affirming organizations is there that is we welcome the diverse candidates right. So, now from the exclusive to marginalized confirming now we are going to be the affirming. So, committed to eliminating discriminatory practices and inherent advantages are there. So, actually recruits and promotes the members of the groups that have been historically denied access and opportunity and the therefore, in that case uh, uh, that a group has been uh, uh, those who were earlier uh, uh, not uh, uh, selected now the team uh, will provide the support and career development opportunities to increase success and mobility is there and that is the responsibility of the leader. The employees encouraged to be the non oppressive or awareness training is there right. So, therefore, in that case employees must assimilate to organizational culture and whenever they are assimilated to organizational culture then definitely in that case they will be able to work together in the diversity also. So, here it is, it is the employees should be uh, always always uh, given the uh, they should be selected also. Hmm? So, therefore, in that case as per the selection procedure of the organization is concerned. So, these employees uh, uh, such type of uh, employees should be applicant should be allowed uh, to get uh, 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 selected into the organization and whenever they are ready to work in the organization then at that time this type of these uh, training programs that can be organized. So, that um, therefore, if there is a um, very high gap right or there is a diversity then uh, then uh, here they will be able to perform uh, in a uh, collectively with the help of the training and whenever these training programs will be provided they will be able to perform. So, redefining organization is the our success and daily practices are there in transition and working to create environment that values and capitalize on the uh, uh, diversity right. So, that is working to ensure full inclusion of multicultural workforce to enhance the growth and the success of organization. So, it is the beginner to question limitations of organization culture and therefore, it is a mission policies, structure, operations, services, management practices and climate is, is there. So, they are the, this is very important point for the leader is concerned that is the leader should go for this type of this uh, redefining organization practices uh, and implement the policies and practices to redistribute the power and uh, empowerment of all members is there. And finally, the inclusive organization is there. In the inclusive organizations, it can be uh, the diversity of work knowledge and the perspectives has to be there. So, that they will be here that is the fabric of the business of the organization such that that is all are working together are there and members of the all groups are treated fairly, they feel included and uh, have equal opportunities and represented at all organizational levels and functions are there. So, the, these are the uh, on the basis of the above discussions, these are the monocultural, transitional and multicultural uh, uh, parameters are there uh, and accordingly we can develop the policies can be developed. Uh, on basis of this uh, uh, we, we will be able to create that environment that is the global environment, uh, socially responsible uh, environment uh, on uh, that will be developed, products and services and technology will be developed and uh, ultimately we will be having the inclusive organization. These are the case studies, the, this case study and uh, you will be uh, able to answer the questions on this case study and these are the research papers right uh, which you can refer uh, and uh, that will help you and this is the book uh, that in that will uh, multicultural teams creating and sustaining an environment for learning from prospective diversity and maximize the team effectiveness is there. And therefore, we will be understanding that is how to design the team for the effective performance. These are the references uh, which we can uh, uh, refer for the further readings also. Thank you.